everyone welcome once again to my youtube channel it's your girl mina and this is my corner if this is the first time you're seeing my face hi here in my corner i make videos that have to do with career related issues i share my opinions and i share my experiences on this channel so this looks like where you want to be kindly subscribe and if you're a returnee thank you for sticking around with me all right so today we are going to be talking about um just some few tips i have just before you quit your job okay yeah so if you want to hear what i have to say let's keep watching every single day i'm gonna make something great that's my way job is not a new thing actually it's not um, many people quit their job for various reasons and it's not it's not necessarily because um, they have a beef with their employer or they are going to start uh, their own business some people quit their jobs uh, for other experiences like some people quit their job for better opportunities they quit their job because they are relocating relocating they quit their job because they need to take a break okay uh, so whatever reason you're quitting your job it's okay as long as you have thought about it and this seems like the best next move okay so I'm just gonna be sharing some tips that I feel will help you as you um, think about quitting your job so let's go number one is plan your next move yeah this is a no-brainer right but most people don't think about it some people leave their job uh, in the heat of the moment like you know what I'm done you're annoying me and I'm walking away uh, without thinking oh my god what's the next what am I gonna do next so plan your next move okay and this is particularly for people who might be having a hard time in their present job remember in my previous video I said that if you were in a toxic work environment one way your boss insults you or hits you this is not for you leave even if you don't have a next move all right but if you're in a place where you just feel tired you feel like you're not learning anymore you feel like you're done and you're thinking about leaving don't just leave in the whim don't just leave in a hurry don't just leave like that don't just leave based on how you're feeling plan your next move what are you going to do for the next two to three months i know um we like to think oh yeah the next one month that you get a job it, sometimes it doesn't happen that way sometimes you leave and then uh, you think in the next one month i'll get a job and it takes you about six months to get the next job okay so plan what your next months will look like number two tip for you is take what is yours okay um by this i mean like um ideas projects you have worked on please if it's the company's property do not take it but if it's your solely yours um, sometimes it's ideas and projects you have worked on and you can't take that back what you can do is put all those things in the portfolio okay put all those things um yeah in the portfolio start to document all the things you've done while you worked in that role projects you executed uh ideas you brought innovative ideas changes you um inspired put those things in a portfolio so take what is yours and um a big part of this point will be as you're uh, updating your portfolio taking what is yours also update your cv update your cv while you think about the next role so the thing is um well, one, um, if you're on a role or once you're in a role, you're working a particular role in your job, um, chances are like you seem to forget the many feats you are um, ticking off. Update your CV on the go. Every three months, update your CV. Number three for me will be redo your budgets. Okay. Once you're quitting a job, particularly if you don't have another job in sight, it's, um, it's one thing you need to do is, um, start thinking about, um, how you're going to work within your budget since you don't really have um any money coming in per se okay if you're if you're going for, if you're quitting your job and you're going to start your business or you already started your business and you're going full time into business it's sort of different but even at that you still have to redo your budget okay um because now one stream of income is shutting down so you have to plan okay so redo your budget and um, i always advise that uh work with worst case scenario What's the worst case scenario? Nobody dashes the money 
um, your business does not bring in as much profit or your side hustle does not bring in as much profit as you thought you didn't get the job immediately what's the what's the worst case scenario budget is going to look like so redo your budget number four for me will be beef up your emergency funds beef up your emergency funds now you do not beef up the emergency funds when you have left the job it's before you leave the job okay so you say you are thinking of quitting your job in the next six months you're thinking of quitting your job next one year start building an emergency fund now what what's an emergency fund emergency funds are money you set aside for emergencies say your car engine knocks and you need to repair it emergency say uh, your laptop packs up you need to repair it emergency emergency funds is not your money for rent please rent is not emergency you know rent is going to happen so rent is not emergencies at all all right nepa bill or nepa is uh that's electricity bill or um uh, waste disposal bills those things are not emergencies. You know they are going to come. They are not emergencies. Emergencies are those things that you do not plan for. Have an emergency fund now. So if you're thinking of quitting the next one year or six months or whatever, start planning, keeping money aside for emergencies. Trust me, those monies will save you. Number five for me will be use your health insurance. If you're currently working in an organization where you have health insurance and you're thinking of leaving soon, Guys, use your health insurance. Go for checkup. Okay, do yeah, I think some health insurance cover checkup. If you're having toothache, now's the time for you to go and check, get that tooth checked. You're having you need to update your glasses, you need to um you need to change your um prescription. Now is the time to do that. So use your insurance before you leave. Use it, okay? Um, yeah. You need to get some medications, you need to do some things. Now is the best time to use it because once you leave, you might not be able, not like you might not, you will not be able to access that insurance except you start paying out of pocket. So use your insurance while you're at it before you leave. Number six for me will be tell your boss first. Now, I could have easily just said tell your boss, but some people tell their boss where they are living last. Like everybody in the organization knows they are living and they when they are out the door, they remember, oops, I thought of my boss and they run back now. Nah, tell your boss first and be able to articulate why you're leaving. Okay? Tell your boss. It's not um it's not um how do I put this now? You're not in prison. Okay, you can leave when you want to leave. Okay, you are not in prison. That you work at nine to five doesn't mean that you are changed there. If you want to go, you can go. All right, so speak to your boss about it. Tell your boss why you have to leave. Tell your boss when you think you are leaving and tell your boss how he's doing you generally. So yeah, speak to your boss first. Let them not be the last person to hear. Okay, and because remember that most employers are in a particular circle. Okay, so you never can tell. You leave, you, if you leave shabbily, you just leave without telling your boss or you just leave anyhow you like. Your next boss actually be your for my boss's friend i've seen it happen many times so please tell your boss first and properly properly articulate why you are leaving also give your boss enough time okay give your boss enough time i think um the average time i know when you have to leave for most organizations is one month if you have to leave you have to give them one month notice before you leave so yeah so not just not just telling your boss first also give him or her enough time to find a replacement for your role or to find someone who is um step in in your absence next one for me will be help out the new guy or the new girl okay um most often times are not when you're about to leave you already sort of have an idea of the person who will be stepping in or who will be filling in for you while in your absence or yeah you already have an idea so you just even if you don't know at least you know people in your department that you feel like um they can um step in just help out the next person help out the new girl new girl show them the ropes show them where to find documents that they will need show them how things work just help them out okay it can be pretty daunting starting a new role where your predecessor did not leave any to do's or um next steps for you so you don't know where documents are you don't know what conversations were ongoing you don't know you just come in and things are in shambles it can be pretty daunting so don't be that person that just goes and says 
that's it now help out the new guy or girl and you can also go a step further and ask telling them that they could reach out to you um, even while you are no longer working with the organization I know that a couple of persons that uh, my friends a couple of them who have left their former organizations they still get messages from their successors asking questions and they still help out from time to time so be that person that will help out the new guy or the new girl the next one for me will be don't accept a counter offer don't accept a counter offer hold up before you come for me let me explain if the reason why you're quitting is because your salary is small you're quitting for just monetary reasons and that's i feel like that's why you have to know why you want to quit beyond how you feel beyond emotions you have to know be why you want to leave be able to articulate why you want to leave and if you think about it and the reason the sole reason why you want to leave is just because of money you feel your salary is small if they give you a counter offer you can take it okay but i know that most often times are not when people decide to leave a particular organization money might be the some of the reasons but money is not the core reasons for most people it's because they are tired along the way um the job is no longer interesting, it's no longer um, uh, exciting, they're not learning something new, they need a new challenge, or sometimes they are just tired. So if it's um, for all those reasons I just listed, you want to leave for those reasons, bear in mind that if they give you a counter offer and you accept it, say for instance, you want to leave because you want to leave because you are really tired, you are tired and you need a break or you need um, you need um, fresh challenges fresh opportunities if they give you a counter offer say more salary counter offer for the first six months it might look interesting you might be gingered oh my god yeah I like this yeah but trust me that same nagging feeling will come back again it will it will come back again and this time around you'll feel uncomfortable voicing it out because you'll feel like oh my god I just said it a while ago just some months ago and um, I was giving better pay new position and now the feeling is here again so please I always I say know the reasons why you want to leave know why you want to leave okay and if the reason for leaving is not monetary reasons then a counter offer is not what you need so I'm going to say don't accept a counter offer if you feel you've already you're tired and this is it um, because I know I know that um, if you're working in 9 to 5 we in your head you sort of have an idea of how long you're going to be here for a rough estimate in your head so um, if you feel like you've gone to that point well, this is it I have to leave leave don't accept a counter offer the last thing for me will be go on a vacation take a holiday all right so um yeah don't leave one job and then you're starting the next job say you get another offer and another organization and you're starting the next job the following day no 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 if you get an offer and you're starting and they're asking you when you want to start give yourself time say two weeks two weeks where you know that you are resting and you are preparing for the new job you're about to start do you understand uh, if you don't have a new job offer say you are about to start a business give yourself time still don't start immediately you quit your job take time off okay and if you don't have any offer whatsoever you're not starting a business since you just quit your job it's okay don't be in a hurry to think about oh my god I have to do something now no take time take two weeks three weeks and just chill rest your brain okay Take a break. By the time you come back, you'll be in a better position to figure out, okay, what am I going to do next? Am I applying for a job? Am I starting the business? Or what's the next step? All right. I hope this has helped you in some way. Okay. Um, thinking about if you're thinking about quitting your job, I hope this um helps you in one way or the other. All right. Yeah. I'll see you in my next one. Thank you for watching my video to this point. Bye.